Hi class, I am super bummed to be missing you guys today, but I do have a fun lesson planned for you. We are going to turn our typical wording, our fonts, into fun block letters arc words. So uh, you're going to start with your blank sheet of paper. We are going to write out our words, Happy Thanksgiving, and we are just going to kind of watch them turn, come to life into a beautiful piece of art using uh, block lettering pictures and super fun bright colors. I'm, again, I'm so sad to miss this class, but I cannot wait to see all the artwork that you come up with. Let's get started. So to begin this project, we are going to start with our paper vertical in front of us. So that's long ways. We're gonna need our pencil, eraser, and fine line. And you have a couple of oil pastels in front of you, but we're gonna save that for the very end. So the first step is we are going to write Happy Thanksgiving, and we need to fit it across our paper. So we're gonna do a capital H, and then I'm gonna do lowercase letters, but if you wanna do uppercase, um, that is totally fine. And you want to have your letters kind of close to each other, but spread out enough to add uh, those block letters around them. And so Thanksgiving is a longer word than happy. So I'm gonna make sure that I start the capital T underneath, not too close underneath because we need to fit those black letters. And then I wanna start it in front of where that H started so I have enough room for all of my letters. So I'm writing my T, H, A, N, K, S, G, I. I'm running out of space, so I kind of have to squeeze them in. V, I, N, and another G. So once that you have created your letters, you are going to use a fine line. So the fine line should be in your art box. You are going to draw um, a box around each of your letters. So I'm going to start the line next to it, then a straight line underneath that letter. And it's just going to go around your letters so that that pencil writing that you did is on the inside of your fine line. And you're trying to keep an even space around your letters. If some areas are too close or too far, that's okay. So the A is sort of close to the H, which is uh, not a bad thing, not a good thing, um, but it is gonna help in this instance because I want that overlap look. If yours doesn't overlap, it's okay. So I'm gonna draw my lines to the H, and then when I hit the H, I'm gonna stop. I don't wanna have my lines overlap. So the letters can overlap without having your lines go through each other. And then where you drew the center of the A, you're going to draw a little circle so that all of your lines are in the center of your Sharpie. And so I'm gonna start at that A. I'm not gonna go through it. I'm gonna stop when I hit it and then I'm gonna continue my line. And 
and the inside of the P almost looks like a small letter D. And then again, we're never going through our letters. We're just going to stop the fine line once it hits. And then we can always pick it up. Great. And now you can go ahead and do the same with uh, the word Thanksgiving. letters are finished and they look amazing uh, you can start to decorate so I am drawing a pumpkin and you guys just drew pumpkins for your last project so I know you are experts now um, you are so I'm drawing my curved lines to make sure that my pumpkin looks nice and round and you can color in your letters and uh, your pumpkin, and I'm going to add some leaves. You can color these however you want. If you want to add anything else, like a turkey or... A cornucopia or anything that you would um, that speaks Thanksgiving to you, you can go ahead and 
add it. I'm doing just leaves and a pumpkin, keeping it very simple. And then I'm gonna color mine in fall colors. So lots of oranges, browns, yellows, reds, all those warm and neutral colors. I'm trying to do leaves come in all different shapes and sizes. So if you are doing leaves and they don't look like mine, it's definitely okay. Notice I've already done like three very different looking leaves. And then again, using that overlapping, once you hit um, a letter or another um, object of your drawing, you just stop your line and then continue where you think it would um, start up again if your object was in front or behind it. Great, and as you are then when you're all finished with your fine line, you can go ahead and erase um, all of your pencil lines that are showing the inside. If you forgot to erase your pencil lines and you already started coloring, it's okay. Your oil pastel should cover the pencil line, but sometimes when you erase, like I just noticed, I didn't make that circle for the A, it almost helps you go over and check your work. And then when you're all done erasing, you can go ahead, color these. Uh, they'll be collected at the end of class and I'll give them to you next week so that you can take them home. Um, have a great rest of your day, and I know oil pastels are messy and they're going to get on your hands, so you will get a wet wipe to clean off your hands at the end of class. All right, see you next week. Have a great day.